Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Legends! And today I am going to be doing a quick tips and tricks guide on the brand new Lost Legends that came out, which is the brand new Legend of the Llama. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download this, and you can find it in the marketplace. It's completely free, and once you download it, you can go ahead and hit start, and it'll start a brand new world, and you're actually controlling a llama in this one, which is uh, pretty interesting. So instead of your character, you're a llama, and you can only fight with llamas in this game mode. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get into the game is you're going to want to break open these jail cells right over here and grab as many llamas as possible, and the llamas are going to help you out with destroying the piglins. Now the first portal here is extremely easy. All you gotta do is grab your team of llamas and destroy the portal. Once you do that, you'll get a message saying that there's three more portals to go after. The first one I recommend going to is the Horde of the Bastion. And the reason for that is there's a lot of jail cells outside the walls that you can easily grab a bunch of llamas and use those to help you destroy all of the structures inside. Now the llamas do a lot of damage to structures. It is really easy to destroy stuff if you have a big group of llamas. So the more llamas you can get, the better. And for what I've seen, there doesn't seem to be a max limit of llamas. So if you see jail cells around the area, make sure you break the llamas out so you can make your army as strong as possible. Now, to destroy the actual portals, most of them are protected uh, by a shield. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first go after... Uh, the shield which around the uh, the portals you're gonna find these lava towers and once you destroy however many of those you need the portal will be exposed and you can start dealing damage to it now the piglins in this don't really seem to be that big of a threat if you ignore most of the uh, the piglins and go straight for the structures is usually the fastest way to get rid of all the piglins because once the portal is destroyed all of the walls and structures and piglins will all despawn and once you destroy the uh, the portal all of the uh, the jail cells in that area will also get unlocked so make sure you run around and grab up any extra llamas that are in that area the next portal you want to go after is going to be the Horde of the Hunt. Now this one is really easy to destroy because there's no barriers. It's completely open, so all you have to do is go after the lava towers that are around the area. Once you destroy those, the portal will be exposed, and then you, all you gotta do is just go straight after the portal. Now, there are barrels of piglins that will launch into the sky and will start attacking you. These you want to try and destroy as fast as possible so that you're not constantly getting attacked by piglins. But if you're fast enough, you can actually destroy the portal uh, before you get overrun by the, uh, the piglins. Now the last portal that you're going to want to go after is the Horde of the Spore. And this one is a little bit more challenging due to the fact that everything is in the air. So you're going to have to build bridges. So the easiest way I've found to destroy this portal is you're going to want to leave your army behind on the ground. And then by yourself, build the bridges and make your way up to the top. And as you make your way up, you're going to find cages with more llamas in them. If you break them out, you can bring a small little army with you uh, up to the top. And you're going to want to destroy these spore mushrooms. And these are uh, really annoying because they will launch you off of the platform. And the good thing about llamas, they don't actually take fall damage. So you don't have to worry about that but it is very annoying to have to climb all the way back up, and they also have an annoying poison ability. So you want to make sure you destroy all of those, uh, and then once you make your way over to the lava towers, destroy uh, however many you have 
uh, at the uh, the portal. Once the lava towers are destroyed, uh, there's going to be more piglins that come out of the portal. Uh, if you have lava launchers that spawn, these guys are extremely easy to take out if you can get close enough. The llamas have a stun ability, so whenever you attack any of the piglins, they'll get stunned. If you keep attacking the lava launchers over and over again, the stun ability will make it so it can't attack, and then eventually it'll get taken out, and then you can go after the portal. So once you destroy all of the, uh, the portals, you will unlock a brand new skin for your horse. Now at the end here, you can go ahead and uh, click on the collect in marketplace button, and that will take you to the marketplace where you can download the brand new uh, horse skin. Once you have it downloaded, you can equip it in the uh, skin selector. So that is pretty much all of the tips and tricks that I have for the Legend of the Llama challenge. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe. If you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you will get notified whenever I post brand new videos on Minecraft Legends and other games. And if you are a subscriber, you also get access to subscriber only videos that I post once a month. So you get an extra video every single month for subscribing to the channel. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye everybody.